Thank you, Joe. Arizona's first Hispanic congressman has died. Former U.S. Representative Ed Pastor served 23 years in Congress. Tonight, Republicans and Democrats across the state are praising former, the former congressman as a trailblazer and one of the state's greatest builders. Team 12's political insider Bram Resnick has a look at Ed Pastor's legacy. And the former Democratic congressman died last night after suffering a heart attack while eating dinner at a Phoenix restaurant with his wife. He was 75 years old. Now, Ed Pastor liked to say he was a workhorse, not a show horse. You can see the work he did for Arizona right here in Phoenix and all over the state. But Ed Pastor's greatest impact was on a generation of Latino Arizonans. They'd quickly tell you they wouldn't be where they are without Ed Pastor. Ed Pastor called Charlene Fernandez just last week to say congratulations. Would you be standing here today if it weren't for Ed Pastor? Absolutely not. Fernandez ran Pastor's first congressional office in Yuma almost 30 years ago. She's now the top ranking Democrat in the Arizona House of Representatives. He called to just make sure that I continue to do good work and that he was there for me. How much does that mean to you? It means everything. This is really a tough moment, isn't it? It is. Born in the eastern Arizona mining town of Claypool, Ed Pastor worked as a teacher before launching a political career that would span 12 terms in Congress. Outside of my parents, I think he was probably the most instrumental person in my life. Attorney and former staffer Roy Herrera says Pastor broke down barriers for a generation of Arizonans. Someone who helped build modern Arizona, modern Phoenix, um, and he was a Latino. He did it uh, he trailblazed, uh, you know, that for everyone else. In Congress, Pastor was the go-to guy for money to build big things in Arizona. The Valley's light rail system celebrates its 10th anniversary next month, thanks to Pastor. He had a hand in building Arizona State University's downtown Phoenix campus. And next time you fly into Sky Harbor Airport, thank Ed Pastor for the control tower. But you rarely heard Pastor brag about any of this. I saw Jay Leno uh, leave. And I said, Jay, if you can go after 20 years on the high note, hey, why not Pastor? Pastor's retirement announcement in 2013 was one of the few times you would have seen him in front of a camera. He explained it to me three years ago on Sunday Square Off, after he retired. I learned very quickly in politics, he said. You can be a show horse or a workhorse. A show horse did things to get on radio and television. A workhorse did the job, and people appreciated what you did. Ed Pastor is survived by his wife of 53 years, Verma Pastor, and two daughters, Yvonne Pastor and Laura Pastor, a councilwoman with the city of Phoenix. Funeral services are pending. And let's send it back to you.